<laughs> Good evening, peasants. My name is Mr. Clifford Kirsten. I'd like to welcome you all to this very special class, How to Be a BMW Driver. Now, before we get started, I'd like for you to all to open up your care packages and wear the things provided inside. As you can see from this picture behind me, I am a BMW owner. You can see from this uh, nonchalant leg action in the picture that was taken just last weekend by my mistress Consuela that I am confident, successful and generally an all-round accepting guy. Sorry, mate. Is this Prius 101 how to save a planet? Do we look like a bunch of c**t? Next time that happens, you go after him. Now the class will be split into seven parts, so let's crack on with lesson one, looking the part. This man right here is the perfect BMW driver. Pay particular attention to the arm region. He's got a short sleeve shirt. Why, Cliff? Why? I'll tell you why. To aid cooling. When you're up someone's chuff on the motorway, when you're tailgating, when you're trying to park badly, you need to be cool. You also have a neutrally coloured tie. Neutrally coloured. Write this bit down. Write it down. You also have a Bluetooth headset. You've got a business meeting to go to. You've probably also got to arrange a hotel visit to the Premier Inn with one of your many mistresses, depending on area code. Finally, outdoor reflective sunglasses. People wearing outdoor reflective sunglasses give you a f when driving. Also of great importance is this. You're flashing the man in front of you. Glare, it's gonna get in your eyes. Not with these puppies, it's not. Lesson number two, speaking the lingo. You, what's your name? Edwin, sir. <laughs> not anymore, boy. If you want to be a true A-star BMW driver, you will refer to yourself as either Nigel, Clifford, or Gavin, and yes, that includes the ladies. So, Gavin, swear for the class. Um, shit? Shit, shit. Anyone here take a shit recently? Put your hand down. Try harder. You shitter. You shitter. Getting somewhere? Not really. Come on, get that rage, come on. F***ing face. Gavin, there are ladies present and this is not Audi class. Use more eloquent words like <laughs> or even <laughs> features. Now lesson three, keep your distance close. We'll uh, have a quick look at this educational video and then I will uh, discuss more. BMW distance should be adopted when lesser vehicles driven by poor fellows impede one's progress. When in doubt, BMW driver, remember the following official BMW slogan. If you can't smell his chuff, then you're not close enough. One feet. That is one feet. One solitary feet. You're closing the gap. You're getting to the business meeting quicker. Consuela doesn't need to wait as long. And what that means is that you can also save money on hotel rooms if you pay per hour. Per hour. Right, write that one down. That's important. There's a couple that'll even do uh, half an hour as well. Now, in case I haven't made this point clear enough, I'm going to do a bit of a live demonstration, OK? You, Nigel, up you come. Now, Nigel, pretend that you are the, uh, the hairdresser in the MX-5 there, OK? Yeah. You're tootling along, going to your hairdressing appointment. Nice and slow, Nigel. I'm in my BMW. He's in my way. I'm in fourth. I'm screaming at 7,000 RPM, doing well over 100 miles an hour. What am I going to do? 315 feet? No. 215 feet? I don't think so. One foot. He can feel me breathing down his neck, OK? And if Nigel doesn't get out of my way, people, what am I going to do? Flash, flash, flash. Ooh. 
He's late for his hair appointment. He's not moving out of the way. What am I going to do? I'm going to use some nice hand signals, okay? A friendly, get the f out of the way, mate. Get the f out of the way, or would you mind going over that way, please? And if all else fails, right up his chuff, okay? We're talking half a foot. How does it feel? I don't like it, sir. You don't like it, do you? What are you going to do? Move out of the way. You're going to move out of the way. Yeah. Ooh, who would have thought he's moved out of the way? Keep moving. Going to be careful with the desk, okay? Probably going to give him the finger when I'm going past as well, just so he knows that I wasn't happy about that. That took too long. I can get to my business meeting more quickly, and I can also, you know, free myself in Consuela more quickly. Remember, saving time and money, closing the gap, closing the deal. Take a seat. You, well done. Guys, let's have a quick five. Nigel. Hello, sir. Got some chicken there. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. Enjoying the lesson? Yes. Now, I hope you've all had a, a good break, a good five minute break, so uh, let's crack on now, okay? Lesson number four indicators. What indicators? You don't need indicators. You're a BMW driver. All of us are BMW drivers, superior beings, okay? Now, medical studies at the University of Medicinal Studies have proven that people who use their indicators are 300, already a big number, and 96. You're not writing. 396 times more likely to be killed and maimed, okay? Sometimes even both. I'm gonna show you a, uh, another educational video, which is uh, backed by the government, okay? It's another educationally backed video that I wanna quickly demonstrate here. For a successful BMW overtaking maneuver such as this one, indicators must be disregarded, while close proximity to the overtakee is preferable. Surely this is dangerous. Get out, everybody, get out. Get everybody, get out. Not no, stay. Tell him to get out now. Get out. get out. Leave those sunglasses. I will be taking the Bluetooths. Get out, okay? You know, yeah, absolutely, get out. Come on. All the highway code says this. Shut up. Before you choose to use the indicators, because next time, unlike him, you could be dead, okay? Chances are actually pretty high at the moment that he has died. This is a very, very rough area. To be out alone is <laughs> not recommended. Lesson number five, okay? Mm. Pa- One second. Hello? I can't talk. I'll, I'll be there. Half an hour. I'll get the half an hour slot. Okay, bye, bye. Number five. How to park now? Anybody in this room care to tell me how one, as a BMW driver, should park one's superior BMW? One, two, three. Gavin, let's go. Reverse in to the bay. Reverse into the bay. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. Ha 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 ha. No. What do you got? Come on, tell me. I'm a BMW driver. I see a space. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You pull in front ways. Pull in front ways. Yeah. What you've done there, Mr. Nigel, has been a bit of a sheep. Bear. Gavin, number two. How should I park as a BMW driver? Uh, drive it in slowly whilst checking all the mirrors. Drive it in slowly while checking the mirrors. Hey, okay, everyone's wrong. I'm right. This is how it's done. I'd like to draw your attention to Article Numero Uno, okay? Here we have a Mercedes, a Vauxhall, and I don't even like to think what these things are. Now these cars are all making a mistake, okay? Why? Because they're within the lines. Let's uh, take a look at what you should be doing right about now. Ooh, that's a fine specimen. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a 330 CI, okay? He's in the ranks 
couldn't quite afford an M3, so probably don't want to be his friend. But what he has done, and he has followed the code, see how he straddles two parking bays, much like a BMW driver would straddle two ladies of the night. Okay, he's done well there. He can open his door. That Mercedes is out of the way. And it also means that no one can park next to him. Lesson number six, knowing your enemy. Okay, not enema, that's a French dish. Can anyone here tell me who is our enemy? Anybody? Yes. Audi drivers? Close, but it's not quite BMW, okay? The answer that I'm looking for here is anybody any, anybody who gets in our way. An enemy. Me. I don't like you. Me. And let me tell you this. Any BMW driver who gets in your way, he's the worst, okay? Scum of the earth. I like to call them mega c Now the final lesson for today's BMW class is hand placement and you will find underneath your desks and underneath your chairs you have got a faux steering wheel i'd like you to pick them up right hand down there left hand hello up there okay with your right hand let go freedom oh rest it on the windowsill the windows are obviously down because we've got pumping tunes oh, it's a bit higher you want to be nice and low in your motor vehicle you're driving an i3, are you? Up there, thank you. Clearly a drifter. Three series, bit of a rep. That is the ultimate way to hold a BMW steering wheel. And the only times that your right arm should be anywhere near the wheel is for three reasons, okay? One, flashing your lights, okay? It's important as well to have strong fingers. The second reason, to honk the horn. And the third and final reason, as if you want a friendly wave. Off. Move, head. So let's have a quick practice. Get your wheels. Flashing, honking, swearing. Good, strong, strong. Raise that up a little bit more. You like the technique, good. You in the back, yes. Middle finger spin, clever, like it. That's aggressive and I like the way that you've combined the up yours with the flash. Good work. And with those skills, you are going to make our lives better and the lives of others, lesser motorists, worse. Congratulations, class. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> you are dismissed. Do me proud, maggot. Piss off. Go f yourself. Remember, don't be a and forget to download the new iOS Car Throttle app for more entertainment, features, videos, and general banter. Put it down. Turn. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Full Feed throttle. in. Full throttle. Feed Remember it in. in. Keep left and turn right. Are you sure you want me yes, to go full I'm throttle? Sure. This is yes. a turbo. Yes. We survived the second kilometer. Yeah. Turn right. Good. Good, good.